Yes, people. I'll give you a little story about the Untouchables when I crossed paths with them. Um, yeah, the Untouchables were one of the biggest gangs, biggest gangs um, in London, definitely South London. They had members from South, East, North and West. Um, at first, they were just looked at as a joke. They had a lot of what I called rejects from other gangs, you get it? Um, rightly or wrongly, that was my opinion, you get me? But then due to the numbers that they had, at certain clientele, they started to recruit, they became more serious. Um, but yeah, it's a mad one. How I came to getting beef with the Untouchables. Basically, I'm over east and I meet this girl. Yeah. And uh, so I pull up on her over Stanford Hill. Oh, you single? She's like, yeah, I'm single. No, sorry, she didn't even say that. She said, no, I've got a man, but he's going to jail. Very soon. Do you hear it? Red flag, alarm bell. But the girl's Chris. I'm still going to slap this thing, but yeah, it's a hit and run. You get me? Definitely. From she's talking like that. As a man who's been jailed. You get it? Cut the story short about a week later, anyway. Slap, going to link to her. Gone to her drum, slap that. Whatever, whatever. About three, four weeks later, gone to the drum, pulled up, see a whip parked up. I got out the whip. Gone to the front door, it's open, isn't it? So I've stepped in, as I've stepped in, Nikki, untouchable, boss. And Sting, his underboss, they're coming down the stairs. Ah. So it's popped off straight away, innit? I'm like, yo, pussy, don't move, innit? Freeze! <laughs> Big man ting. Yeah, freeze, innit? They're looking shiny. Rollies on and diamond. Huh? I'm like, hey, what? Strip quickly in it. Yeah, yeah, no itching. Bunch. Jumped in the whip. I'm gone with their shit, you get it? But they're following man down Stamford Hill Eye Roll. I'll never forget they're following man down Stamford Hill Eye Roll. They're on the phone and through my mirror, my rear mirror, I can see one of them like, you know, like they're looking at the reg and they're talking and then reinforcements and I'm like, yo, what to them man here though? And there's a little bit of traffic. Traffic won't move in too. I'm watching them and they're like, basically they're still active. They, they, this ain't done. Like I think it's over, but it's not over. That's what, the, 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 that's the picture I'm getting that they're thinking, do you get it? So anyway, I pulled over and I jumped out of the car Nikki's jumped out the car. Bit of traffic by now, yeah. And he's just like, you're going to shoot me on the main road? Shoot me then. You know, like that. You're going to shoot me on the main road? Shoot me then, putting out his arms. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, man, start lighting him up, innit? Yeah. All right. He never pick up, but cool. Jump back in the whips. I'm gone now, you get me? But they never follow me in that car. Yeah, they know what they're dealing with, yeah. So man's gone. Boom! Like three hours later, four hours later, I'm over, I'm, well, I'm in South now, I'm at my mum's. I'm at my mum's house. And my youth's there, that time my youth's about six months old. If that, bro. Yeah, about six months old, maybe a year old, something like that, yeah. My mum's old in my youth. I'm in my mum's room, innit? Boom! I hear. The doorbell ring. I just knew from when the doorbell. Yeah, I just knew the vibe in it. I've got that kind of yeah I can sense when shit's not right. Do you hear me? And I hear the front door open, so I'm listening in it. Then I hear 
I want to push past her. It's my yard uncle. So some man are pushing past him. Do you get me? But they're running up the stairs. I pushed the door. Locked it. Turned to my mum and said, yo, cover the baby's ears. You get it? So my dude says, cover the baby's ears. Someone's touched the door. Bam, 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 bam. I just started to let up the thing. Nothing long. I saw that door knob move. Eh? Talking about you coming to my house. Anyway, bro. Yeah. They're gone in it. Everything was gone in it. Bust the door. Come on. Shh. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Shh. I'm fuming still. Yeah. I'm fucking fuming. So, boom, now. I'm going to check my bridging them. Louis Shepard and man, they're from Deptford. Old school, bad boy, why you? Yeah. Colt and his team. That was, that was my go to them time there. They hit me. If it's serious, yeah, you go for them, man, there. Yeah. So I'm saying, unless I told him what's going on here, yeah, I want to go touch up these youths. And... Yeah, like, air hey, what you got to give back the jewels. Remember, there's still dialogue, you know. I never mean, forgot, yeah, MB, Michael Brown from East, not the South one, the one from East. He knows them, he knows me, so he's calling, innit? He's dialoguing it. And he's like, yo, brand man, just want back the jewels, you get it? Man, don't rub and give back. That's long. Man, don't play that game, you get it? But my team now, they said, boy, you gotta keep running it back. That takes the beef off the doorstep. I don't wanna hear that. Boom. So that's what it was. I had to run back to Jules. Peace. Um, but the beef ain't done, innit? He just took it off the doorstep, do you get it? So, I remember Next after that, I was in jail. I was in jail, and I bucked Usler. That's Nicky's brother. I bucked Usler in it. I don't know it's Nicky's brother. I don't. And you don't know. I have, I'm the person who robbed his. Do you get it? At that point, and we linked and we got on. You know like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still fuck with him. Still, yeah, on the wing. You get it? Then he's, he's, I think after I'm there about a month or two, he's heard that it's me, innit? I remember I was coming for a visit. Oh, uh, by now I'm on BRU. I'm on the, the bully wing, innit? Basically. I was coming for a visit, he's banged the window. He's going, yo, you're tiny from South, South, innit? You rob my brother, innit? Who's your brother? He's like, Nicky. I said, yeah. He's like, all right, bro. Me and you in it, bam bam. No, no, boom boom, you know, just me and you in it, boom boom. Just say nothing, pussy, anyway. Alright, cool, gone. So for about three, four weeks, just bare hype in the prison, you know what I mean? That me and my man's gonna fight and all of that shit. Then bam! Gone on a visit one day, and when I'm coming off, they've let him out. Do you get it? Like planting, yeah, they've let him out. Screw. I remember it was Charlie, African screw. Let my man out. They just stood back. I mean, they started to rock. Do you get it? So he's rocking for about oh, 10 seconds. Then I remember I slipped. They stopped it, everyone stopped it. They rocked a bit more. And then bam, just got stopped in it. But, um, I wasn't happy. I felt like he got the better of me, do you get me? Not major, but yeah, that's how I felt, man. So, boom. After that, who did I catch? I caught one, I'm sure I caught, I think I caught Nicky again. I'm sure I caught Nicky again in that club opposite Tottenham Police Station. I can't too agree call. But anyway, after that, it was whatever, whatever, whatever. I didn't meet them again until maybe 2001, where Nikki had a relationship with Fox, Love or Money Fox, and they needed some assistance. 
And obviously me and Fox are rolling in it. So we come as a package. So Nikki um Asta's come to the meeting with Sting, I believe. Yeah, Asta Sting's come to the meeting. I'm sure it was Sting that was with him. And I've just turned up. They didn't Fox didn't even tell him like I'm um, they was turned up. I've got a ballet on, a balaclava on an elmet. So I've lifted off the elmet, pulled up the ballet. Us has looked at me, they've looked at Fox. And I had to say, what the fuck? And Fox is like, yes, the right hand man, bro. So, yeah, whatever happened before, yeah, you got pushed under the carpet. Man, I looked at Fox, looked at me. And he just went, new era, new era, new era. And that was that, yeah. Um, but I was never comfortable around that. I remember being in a van with about three of them, four of them one time. The, the van is pitch dark. I was like, nah, fuck, this has busted on, got out, bro. Went about my business. Jumped on my bike, it's gone. Fox is like, where you gone? I said, bro. Violate those guys, bro. Like, you got me in a van in darkness with them. You stupid, you hear me? Yeah, I was missing still. That's a little thing with the untouchables. Yeah.